So guys, what we're gonna get in now into the instructional is my favorite attacks from the, from the half guard. This is what I've been really using the last couple of years in competition. It's kind of a weird position. Not a lot of people are very good at passing it. Um, and if you can really specialize in this position and clock a lot of hours in your training, I think you're gonna have a huge advantage against anyone you go against. Um, a lot of the details in the position are, are gonna be what makes or breaks the position, whether you're gonna have success or your opponent's gonna have success from there. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to set it up from the deep half guard. Later in the instruction, we're gonna talk about setting it up from the knee twist and from the knee cut as well. Um, but deep half guard is a great spot to set it up from. Um, and that's where I originally started doing it. So if we're in the deep half guard here, I'm here with Kyle, all the basic concepts in this position are gonna apply all the stuff that we went over. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna swing, and I'm gonna make sure that I catch this right away. Now, if I can, see where Kyle's foot is here, I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna extend it out a little bit more. Now, my right arm is gonna be on his leg and it's extremely important that I wanna shoulder bump him and I'm gonna tuck my head. Here, always policing my, where my left arm is too. The belt's a great starting point for me to protect this. All I'm gonna do is rock and make him post his hands. As I do that, look, I really just wanna utilize his leg. I'm gonna just go slide under and I'm gonna throw this forward the same time. As soon as this happens, I know he's gonna to start to try to grab my head. I'm just gonna grab his hip, okay, with my left hand. One concept that is really gonna help, anytime that Kyle gets far away from me, here with his hip is gonna be bad for me. So I always wanna think about utilizing my left hand to make sure that we're hip to hip. Now, the most important thing in this position, a lot of people when they do reverse half guard, they lock their feet this way. This is probably the worst thing that I can do. If Kyle grabs me from the outside of the knee here and starts to pull my legs towards him, he's got me completely twisted. And if he just kicks the top of my knee and pulls his leg out, I basically just gave him a pass. So. This is extremely important. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lock my triangle the other way and it doesn't really wanna be like a triangle. It wants to be a lot more like a closed guard almost. You know, My knees are gonna be pinched. But you wanna look for the same concept that we looked for in the knee twist where I'm gonna try to make like that 90 degree angle with his knee. That's very important. So look what I'm gonna do. This is almost like a reverse knee twist. There should be some torque on his knee. So I'm gonna go here, here. I think about really trying to drive my left hip bone into his hamstring and see how I'm making that 90 degrees. I really want to try to point my knees over to the right. This is really going to alleviate a lot of pressure um, that he's going to be able to apply in this position. So for my arms, if he underhooks me here, honestly, that's what I want. It's going to make his base really thin up top and he doesn't have a lot of base in this position because his back is exposed here and it's going to be very hard for him to post. It's very hard for him to post his arms backwards if I have any like rocking motion. We're going to go over a couple of the basic sweeps, but that's the nice thing about this position. You don't have to really be like with your spider senses, you know, turned on when I'm here. If he goes here, this is fine. Now there's a lot of cool stuff that I can do with the lapels here as well. But like I had said, the two most important things are bending that knee, making sure that you have good torque on the knee, it's 90 degrees, and this arm right here, okay? Um, one thing that I will talk about is because leg attacks are gonna be a big thing here. Um, if you are scared about the guy attacking your legs or you just wanna be cautious about the position, a really simple thing that you can do that's very effective is anytime you're here is look, just grab nice and deep, and I try to grab as deep as I can, I'm gonna to try to like lock this in. I'm gonna to try to lock him on top of me. A lot of times in a half guard position, you wouldn't wanna do this. Like in a regular half guard, you never wanna lock the guy on top of you, here where he's got an underhook, but here it's a much different situation. So if Kyle starts to try to go towards my feet to try to leg lock me here, it's impossible because the thing is, is his head has to go down towards my legs. This is the easiest defense for leg locks from this position. A lot harder in no-gi because you're not gonna have the material where you can anchor your hand. You're gonna have to really change that approach if you're training without the gi. But as long as I lock my arms in and I have that good pressure on his knee, this is a super safe position for me. And the thinner his base is up top, like if he's going like hand to hand, this makes it very easy for me to sweep him, okay? So if we go again, I'm gonna go under, rotate. I pull all the slack out of that leg. My shoulder's in his butt. Right away, a lot of times you can use that initial momentum, you know, where you're swinging underneath them. A lot of times you can go straight from the deep half guard straight to the reverse. So we'll do that just for a second. If you can really like utilize this momentum as I'm here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, and pop out the back door, okay? All I'm gonna do is slide my hand out. I'm gonna switch my triangle right away. Naturally, your legs are gonna wanna lock like this, so as soon as you land in this position, all you're gonna do is just flip your triangle. Remember, 
But you see there's like a little pocket of space in between like my calf and his shin. The more that I slide this down to my Achilles or down by my ankle and I really like shuffle my hips in and point my knees out to the right, it's gonna make it a lot stronger. See how I automatically created that knee torque and I have his leg 90 degrees. Now, like I said, automatically you always have to be worried about your legs in this position. People are, are immediately worried about this leg here, your left leg. Like, oh, can the guy knee bar you because you're not covering it. First of all, he's gonna have to travel a long distance to get to my leg. And as long as I have this nice and deep, and I pull Kyle on top of me, you don't even have to worry about the leg locks here. I'm just gonna lock my arms into place. His base is gonna be nice and thin. And like I said, it's gonna be very hard for him to post if I make any movement to try to sweep him towards his back. 